Okay, I'm back on the boiler I repiped. Um, I gotta put an air scoop in. I'm gonna put an air scoop in right here. Drain the boiler down a little. So I'm gonna put a Taco 4900 series right here. Because if I went with the Taco, just standard air scoop with that, I would have to have 18 inches of pipe before it. Because we got, still got, I couldn't bleed all the air out of it, no matter what. And we had questions on the previous video to where, why did I put the return, or the pump on the return? Here's why. It's because, for one thing, you got to pump away from the tank. And if I just flipped over the circulator here, I wouldn't be pumping in the right direction. So I got to pump away from the tank. Also, the valves have a direction on them. So the direction of the valve is down. So if I would have pumped it the other way on the off, when the thing turned off, it would slam and rattle all the pipes. So these are the reasons why I do what I do. So I'm gonna get these. I'm gonna get these shut. I'll drain the boiler down some. So I can cut into this and get my air scoop soldered in because I don't have press one. So let me get that going. All right, so I'm gonna put this right here. This is press fitting, so I gotta keep this cool. I don't have room to put it up there, I would. So, I'm running low on battery too. Then we'll get it cut in. Go get my other cutter. Smaller cutter.
gas tank is leaking. fitting. We'll get this thing soldered up really quick. Trust me, it ain't perfect. It's not the best setup.
thing I worry about is that O-ring in there. A little sloppy. Give it some Teflon tape and I'll be right back here. Well, couldn't find my Teflon tape. So, blue dope for your pleasure. Yeah, I know what's supposed to go there, but it's not. Well, let's see what happens. If I got any leaks, let's see if I got any leaks. Okay. Okay, let's see. No leaks on the press fitting, which is good.
leaks anywhere. Good to go. We're gonna start this up. Make sure we get. Uh, make sure I get heat back on all the zones. Maybe bleed it out a little more, and should be good. Where that tank is situated up there, I could not get my fill up there. That's where I normally put my fills, it's right by the expansion tank. My expansion tank usually goes on the bottom of my air scoop. This situation can't do it. There's no way. Normally, I am putting my circulators on the supply, but this one I had to do the return. So sometimes stuff doesn't work out. You gotta do what you gotta do to get it done. If you can't do that, and if you gotta play by the book every time, it, it, it just won't work out good for you. Sometimes you just have to do what you have to do. So, I have a happy, happy customer. I have a system that works better than it did before. And no, you can't move the sensor and the boiler over to the other side. Because this thing technically is supposed to have a pump there on the supply side. Well, couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. There's no way I could have did it. Just, just the way, because I had to pump away from the tank. If I pump to the tank, then I get problems with fluctuating pressure up and down. So this is the only way I had to do it, or could do it. Let me bleed it out a little. Well, there's only so much you can do. So, we got that air scoop in there. It's not optimal on where it sits or where it's at. Um, it is in the system, though. When I was out there originally, I didn't bring an air scoop with me. I thought it had one on there, but I was totally wrong. I thought it had one up top. So... Like I said, you can't rework the wheel every time. There's no way to do it. But if you can make it work, if you know enough to make it work, it will work. Um, that system is not even close to being pipe optimal. Not even close. Um, it's just, it is what it is. There's nothing you can do. Um, all I know from my customer is she's happy. She can sleep at night because the boiler's not turning on and off the way it was every time a zone would open. Um, I mean, as soon as, as soon as zone, one zone would heat up and the other zone would open, um, it would that temperature in that boiler just where that probe sits for the tell the control what temperature the boiler is the temperature in the boiler would drop 30 degrees instantly um, and then it would heat up the zone and then the boiler would shut off but then it would come right back on because it's getting you know within 10 seconds it would come back on so it, it just wasn't piped right. It wasn't piped per the manual. The manual says, hey, it's got to be piped a certain way. It wasn't piped that way. Honestly, that boiler should have been primary or secondary piping. Um, should have added another pump on the other side of the expansion tank. And that that's the way that boiler should be set up. Because in the manual, it doesn't even really say in the manual how it should be piped, kind of sort of it does. It gives you a diagram. But in the manual it tells you that pump should be on top of the boiler, on the supply. That's where it should be. But there's no way I could have did it. Just the piping setup was just garbage. So this is just kind of a continuation of my last video. And all I can say is I got a happy customer. And that's that's the main main focus. Get your customer happy. Make the system work. It's not optimal, but it works. So that's it.
that's it for this one. This is kind of a follow-up, I guess. Because um, you guys had a lot of questions in that last that last uh, video. You know, why didn't I do this and why didn't I do that? There's reasons why I do what I do. Um, and most of the time, it's just to get it done. You know, make it work. So, I will see you on the next video. Thanks a lot. Like and subscribe.